Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to the second episode of the WW Air Fryer series. I have two delicious dinners to share with you guys. I guess they don't have to be dinners, two meals to share with you guys tonight, both of which are WW friendly, both of which are made in the air fryer. And one of the recipes is a copycat recipe from one of just about everybody's favorite fast food chain. So if you want to see what I have in store for you for the second episode in the WW Air Fryer series, all you have to do is keep watching. So for tonight's air fryer dinner, I'm going to be making air fryer chicken parm and I'm going to do homemade breadcrumbs because one, I don't have any breadcrumbs. I forgot to order them. And two, these taste better and are less point. So let me show you what exactly I'm putting in to the air fryer to make chicken parm. So first you're going to need some skinless, boneless chicken breasts. I'm gonna use the Trader Joe's light shredded mozzarella. Over here I have some of the skinniest dish zero point crock pot marinara. I will link this recipe down in the description box below. To make my breadcrumbs, I'm going to be using some saltines. I'm going to use some Dax Italian Blast. Dax is an amazing seasoning company. All of their seasonings are zero salt added. They have such great flavor, all real or ingredients, nothing artificial delicious. You can save 10% using the code here on the screen and there is a link down in the description box for you to purchase Dax. They have over 20 different spices and I'm telling you for a no salt spice they are to die for. I am going to be adding a little bit of pink Himalayan sea salt, some Italian seasoning, and some ground black pepper. With my chicken I'm going to be making some corn and then I'm gonna be popping some of these crispy hash brown dices into the air fryer. I really like these. They're actually decent sized chunks of potatoes. They're really, really good. So I'm gonna pop some of those in the air fryer as well. So let's get started on our chicken parm. So the first thing that we need to do is go ahead and make your breadcrumbs. If you are using pre-bought breadcrumbs, you can skip this step. But what I did here is I just crushed up 12 saltine crackers. To that, I'm gonna be going ahead and adding in some Italian seasoning. So essentially, I'm making my own Italian breadcrumbs. So just the seasoning to your liking. I'm also going to be adding in a little bit of ground black pepper, and that's gonna give it just that little bit of spice. And then of course, I'm gonna add in some of the Dax Italian Blast. This seasoning, you guys, has a kick. So go sparingly on it if you are not someone who likes your food really spicy. And then I'm also going to be adding in some Himalayan pink sea salt. Give that a quick mix and that is what our breadcrumbs are going to be made out of. So we are ready to get our chicken coated in the breadcrumbs. So I went ahead and cut up my chicken breast into half the size. I scrambled up one egg and I prepared my breadcrumb mixture, sprayed my tray for my air fryer with non-stick cooking spray, and then essentially what we are going to do is we are going to take a piece of chicken, we are going to dip it directly into our egg mixture, and then we are going to dip it directly into our breadcrumb mixture and just get it pretty nice and coated up and then it'll go on to our sheet here of our air fryer that I did spray again with some nonstick cooking spray. And we're just gonna repeat that until all of our chicken breasts are ready to go. Look at our chicken, yum. So I was able to bread four halves of the chicken breasts. These were huge chicken breasts. So they are nice and coated. I am going to add my potatoes to the other sheet for my air fryer. To my potatoes, I'm gonna just go ahead and spray them really quickly with some avocado oil spray. I'm gonna do that on both my potatoes and also on my chicken. And that will just really help them brown a little bit better. 
And then to my potatoes, I'm going to add some of the Trader Joe's onion salt, and that will just add a nice little bit of flavor to those. And then we are ready to get our potatoes and our chicken into the air fryer. So here's my air fryer. I have the Power Oven Elite. So again, it is more like an oven than your traditional basket air fryer. So I am going to pop my chicken in first. Look at how good that looks. I'm gonna pop that onto the bottom shelf. And the reason for that is I do not want my chicken juice to drip onto my potatoes. And then I will rotate them once the chicken has cooked through a little bit. And then onto my top shelf, I'll go ahead and add my seasoned potatoes. These look so good. Seriously, I love these kind of potatoes. So there you have it. We'll go ahead and shut our door, turn on our air fryer, and I'm gonna go ahead and set this for 400, and I'm gonna do it for 15 minutes, and that should be just enough time to get everything cooked. I'll probably rotate it at the 10 minute mark. We can always add a little more time if needed. If you hit the light, I love that about my air fryer, you can see your food cooking away. So I will be back when I rotate the shelves. So I went ahead and rotated my shelves. My potatoes are actually just about done. I went ahead and popped my chicken up to the top shelf. It is looking super good. Just a couple more minutes and then I'm going to add on the marinara sauce and the cheese and we'll pop it back into the air fryer for just a couple more seconds to finish cooking and melt the cheese. So here's what our chicken looks like. I just pulled it out of the air fryer. I'm going to add a little bit of the skinniest dish zero point marinara. And I measured out one ounce of the Trader Joe's light shredded mozzarella. So I'm gonna go ahead and just pick one of my pieces of chicken. We're gonna go ahead and dab on a good amount of the marinara sauce. We are gonna be putting this back into the air fryer to heat the marinara and also melt our cheese. So there's my one ounce of light shredded cheese. So I'm gonna plunk that right on top. Oh my gosh, you guys, yum. And then I'm gonna put cheese and marinara sauce on the other pieces of our chicken parm. Pop this back into the air fryer and I'll be back to show you the chicken and the potatoes fresh out of the air fryer. So here is our parm, our chicken parm right out of the air fryer. This looks so delicious. I am super excited for this. I also popped out my potatoes. Look at how good those look. I'm gonna go ahead and get everything plated up along with my corn, and then I will show you what exactly what I'm having for dinner and give you tonight's air fryer recipe smart points. So here is my dinner for tonight. This looks amazing. I cannot wait to dig in. So first here with my piece of chicken parm. My chicken parm, I'm going to count as three smart points. One for the one ounce of Trader Joe's light shredded mozzarella, and two for the crackers that I used to bread it. It's probably more like one point or one and a half points worth of saltines. I used 12 crackers to bread four chicken breasts. So essentially three crackers per breast. So I'm just gonna go ahead and count it to err on the side of caution as three points. But look at how yummy this looks. I have some corn with some spray butter, salt and pepper for zero. And then I have one serving of my air fried potatoes, which is two thirds of a cup for four smart points. So this entire dinner is seven smart points. So here is what is in tonight's dinner. We are going to be making copycat Chick-fil-A fried chicken sandwiches. Super excited for this dinner. I love Chick-fil-A. It is one of the most popular fast food restaurants and we are going to recreate their high point high fat chicken sandwich into one that is WW friendly. We're even going to have a side of fries and veggies with our sandwiches. So let me show you first our sides and then everything that you'll need to create your chicken sandwich. So we're gonna go ahead and have some of these Alexia Yukon Select fries. We're just gonna pop these into the air fryer with the chicken sandwiches. We're also gonna have some mixed veggies as our side. I am making only two sandwiches, so I'm actually turning my recipe into a third of the original. So don't copy my ingredients exactly if you wanna go ahead and make six sandwiches. So here is what is in the Chick-fil-A sandwiches. So first you're going to need some oil. Typically I would use olive oil, but I am out, so I'm gonna go ahead and use canola oil. 
you're going to need some flour, some pickles. You'll need some of the dill sauce or juice, I'm sorry, as well as slices of dill pickle. I'm going to go ahead and use almond milk. This is the vanilla. It doesn't matter because we're actually adding some sugar to this recipe. You're going to need some powdered sugar. The recipe calls for potato starch, but I couldn't find any. So I Googled it and corn starch will work in its place. You're going to need chicken, of course. I'm just going to slice this huge breast of chicken in half to make two chicken sandwiches, an egg, some celery seed, some ground black pepper, garlic powder, uh, nonstick cooking spray, pink sea salt, smoked paprika, and then of course you're going to need a bun. So I'm gonna be doing the Smart Baking Smart Bun. These are one Smart Point buns. These are so good. I love them grilled, so I'm probably going to pop them in a pan just to go ahead and grill up my bun. But you can have an entire hamburger bun. And this, you guys, is a full-size bun. Look at this. You can have a full-size hamburger bun for one Smart Point. I love the Smart Buns. Again, they are from Smart Baking. I do have a discount code that will save you 10%, which is less expensive than buying them on Amazon. That will be down in the description box below and is also here on the screen. But again, these are the full-size hamburger buns for only one Smart Point. They are delicious. So that is what I'm going to have my Chick-fil-A sandwich on. So let's get started on tonight's dinner. So the first thing you need to do for your sandwich is go ahead and get your chicken breasts. You can go ahead and cut those to the size and thickness of your liking. I'm also going to do one quarter cup of pickle juice and you're going to need a Ziploc bag. So we are going to actually put our pieces of chicken into our Ziploc bag and then we are going to add our pickle juice. And then we are going to seal that up really, really good. Take a second and kind of pound or squish your chicken so that that pickle juice really gets absorbed into your chicken breast. The recipe says to go ahead and put this in the refrigerator for about a half of an hour. So I'm gonna go ahead and add it to the fridge while I'm preparing the rest of our pieces of our chicken sandwiches. And then we will grab these out and get these ready to go in to the air fryer. The next step is you're going to go ahead and grab a bowl, go ahead and crack your egg into that bowl, and then you're also going to add one half of a cup of milk or whatever milk substitute that you are using, and you're going to whisk that together, get that nice and beat into the egg, beat into the milk, and then we're going to go ahead and set this aside while we combine our dry ingredients. So get that nice and mixed, just like you would if you were making scrambled eggs, and then go ahead and set that aside. The next thing we need to do is go ahead and combine our flour, our cornstarch, and our spices. So I went ahead and already added a little bit of the celery seed since it wasn't in a container to my bowl. We are also going to be adding one third of a cup of flour. That is because I'm only making two chicken breasts. So remember the original recipe is six servings. We're also going to go ahead and add in some cornstarch. I'm going to do two teaspoons only because, again, only two sandwiches. The original recipe calls for a couple of tablespoons. And then lastly, we're going to go ahead and add in our spices. And as you know, I kind of just wing my spices. So first, I'm just going to go ahead and add in a little bit of pink Himalayan sea salt. We are also going to add in some garlic powder. So I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of that. We, of course, are going to add black pepper. Chick-fil-A fried sandwich is definitely peppery, so that is a definite must. And then lastly, we're going to go ahead and add in our paprika. Just a little bit of that. Give that a nice quick stir and set that aside with our egg mixture. And then we're ready to pull out our chicken pieces and drudge all of that into this goodness. I almost forgot to add my two teaspoons of powdered sugar. I just realized that, in fact, it's not even in the directions of the recipe, but I'm assuming it goes in with the rest of the dry ingredients. So I went ahead and added that. Now we're ready to get our chicken ready. So now we're ready to do our chicken. So go ahead and pull your chicken breast out of the refrigerator, 
grab some tongs because you don't want to get your hands all goopy and we are going to put our chicken breast first into our egg mixture and get it nice and coated now we're not even going to use all of this so i'm going to calculate my points based off of what we use so then i'm going to put it here into the flour mixture i want to get it nice and coated we definitely want to make sure that it has flour on every part of the piece of chicken but again we want to shake off any excess flour so make sure that you get it nice and coated but that you're also shaking off that excess flour so that it doesn't just burn into your air fryer so go ahead and add flour shake and then you would put it into your air fryer or in my case onto the sheet of my air fryer and then I'm going to do that same thing again with my second chicken pop it into that egg mixture pop it into the flour it looks like I'm going to be using a good chunk of the flour so I may just figure my points according to this entire amount amount since that is what has the majority of the points but give your chicken breast here with your tongs a nice good coating of the flour mixture shake off any excess and then of course you're going to add that other piece of chicken directly to your air fryer and then we are ready to get these into the actual air fryer for cooking but look at how yummy these are looking so our breaded chicken is ready you can see here that i've added one serving or 24 pieces of the Alexa fries. Those are for me, so that is one serving. That's a lot of fries for the serving. And then these tater rounds are for my hubby. So next, we're just going to take some nonstick cooking spray, and we're just going to spray the top of our pieces of chicken. And then also, you just wanna give your fries and tater tots a quick spray. That just adds that nice golden brown. We're gonna pop these into the air fryer about halfway through, you would want to either shake your basket or in my case, take and flip these over. So I've got my fries and tater rounds on top and my chicken on the bottom. I'm gonna go ahead and turn my air fryer on to 340. And we wanna do that for about six minutes. And then we will take a look at it and we will do a quick flip and see how they're coming along cooking and then we are good to go. My air fryer, I love it because it does have that light feature. So you can go ahead and hit that and you can see your food cooking. So in about six minutes, I'm gonna go ahead and flip these over. If you do have this type of air fryer, make sure you cook your meat on the bottom rack, at least for the first part of the cooking, then you can move it to the top rack and rotate it around. You just don't want it dripping chicken goobs onto your other food. Once you've cooked it on each side for six minutes at 340, go ahead and flip it over. I did spray a little bit more of nonstick cooking spray. Now we're gonna pump up the heat to 400 and we're gonna cook it for just a couple more minutes on each side, just until it is nice and golden brown. I just pulled our Chick-fil-A chicken pieces out of the air fryer. These look delicious. Look at that fried crunchy goodness. Our fries are just about done. I did go ahead and toast my smart bun. That one got a little too toasty, but I did go ahead and toast my smart bun. We are going to add some pickles just like Chick-fil-A and some light mayo to our sandwiches. So let me get everything all plated up. I'll show you what's for dinner and give you the smart points. Here is my completed dinner for tonight. So here is some mixed veggies with a little bit of spray butter for zero points. I have one serving of the Alexa fries. These turned out delicious for three smart points. Here is my Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich on my smart bun. On the other half, I added a tablespoon of light mayo and some sliced up pickles. So my bun is one point, my mayo is one point, and my chicken sandwich is only three smart points. Three smart points for fried chicken. So my sandwich is five, my fries are three, so that is a total of eight smart points. And then I'm also going to dip my fries in some no sugar added ketchup for zero and have the rest of my Coke cherry. So this is tonight's eight point copycat Chick-fil-A dinner. Thank you for joining me on the second episode of the Air Fryer WW Friendly Series. I hope you enjoyed seeing the two recipes that I shared with you. Those copycat Chick-fil-A sandwiches, I almost want to say they're better than the original. And can you even believe the smart points? Crazy that you can have a fried chicken sandwich 
for those smart points. I hope that you enjoyed seeing the recipes, getting some new ideas for things that you can prepare in your air fryer that are WW friendly. If you are new to my channel, make sure you subscribe and hit that little notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. You don't want to miss out on this air fryer series. I also have an Instapot series, a barbecue series, weigh-ins, meal prep, a lot of fun stuff going on on this channel. So make sure you subscribe and hit the bell and give this one a thumbs up, comment down below. Let me know if you're going to try these air fryer recipes. Have a great day and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.